remember here in the life Lifeline, we have struggled with our pastor. No one contributed. Christians and church elders of Lifeline Ministries in Soroti today prevented Apostle Julius Peter Oyet, the founder of Lifeline Ministries, from entering their church. Oyet found himself and his police bodyguard stranded outside his own church after Christians demanded an explanation regarding his absence from church activities. Oyet is further accused of single-handedly running the finances of the church, being a sole signatory and operating without a board of trustees. The Christians accuse him of causing leadership mismanagement that led to the resignation of Bishop James Tuke. The elders who decided to close the church because of the tension, because he forced himself to come. According to Mr. Odongo Andrew, a leader in the church, Apostle Oyet is accused of lacking a clear administrative structure. We as Christians of Life and Ministries Soroti would like to disassociate and disown Apostle Julius Peter Oyet and Lifeline Ministries as a whole. However, Apostle Oyet was held in an exchange of words with some of the church leaders where he admitted to some of the accusations and shared responsibility. All the mess you see is caused by me. Oyet recently led a group of born-again Christians to parliament where he blew a trumpet and prayed for the Speaker of Parliament, Rebecca Kadaga, as part of a cleansing ritual following a fracas over the age limit debate. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray both for 